It was in San Diego about 70 years back. This tall, skinny kid could give a baseball a whack. He paid other kids to pitch at the shag. When asked why he did it, he said, not to brag. But someday, folks, will point and say, there he goes. The best hitter ever, any record book shows. They thought it was funny. He had these big dreams. Then they watched him take hitting to brand new extremes. Any scout in the business could easily see that this kid had a swing kind of natural and free. And he connected so often and made you sit up and wonder, how did he learn to load a bat up with thunder? At 19 in the minors, he batted 366. With 43 homers, he was the pick of the picks. He hit 327 in the big leagues at 20. With 31 homers, we all knew there'd be plenty. There was one other player with all-around skills who gave New York fans a good share of thrills. People still to this day compare the greatness of the two. But Joe DiMaggio himself said, Ted's hitting's guru. Ted batted 400 61 years ago. Last one to do it, all baseball fans know. You just have to wonder about those five years he gave to his country had he chose his career first to pave. He batted 388 at age 39. He seemed to get better. He aged like a fine wine. No longer a splinter, but splendid he was. Ask the Jimmy Fund people how he felt for their cause. Now he's back with Tom Yawkey, Jolton Joe and Babe Ruth. Shoeless Joe and Ty Cobb like they were in their youth. Now these guys are all proud and they won't give a lick. The best hitter of all time, the kid is their pick. Boys and girls, batting, batting third, third and playing, and playing left, left field, field for the Boston, Boston Red, Red Sox, Sox. Number, number nine, Ted, Ted Williams. Williams. Left, left field, field Williams. Williams. Thank, Thank you. you.